Welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie, and I'm here to support you recovering from religious, emotional, physical, whatever trauma. And keep in mind that the things that I have shown you will only work if you are doing what you need to do. If you need to get therapy, get therapy. If you're doing that in the work, if you have your soul family or a group that is supporting you through this, that is great. Okay. Um, so what I just told you there was balance because we are entering eclipse season. We're going to have a partial eclipse in Libra on the 14th. And so that's to prepare us for that. And what you saw toward the end there was me doing the modified version by putting one finger on the wall to support me balancing. You can also put one finger on a chair too. Um to do that and the way I started off was also balanced it was a Tai Chi move and the way that you keep it is having your let's see if we can describe this uh, have your feet a little bit past shoulder width apart sinking down into it making sure that the knees are aligned with the feet and you want the feet to be pointing forward as much as possible and then you want to push your feet out to the edge of the foot so you should be flat foot like this but pushing out if you're familiar with yoga you'll be able to do that okay if not do the best you can or just do the movements that call to you okay so pluto is going to be going um direct on the 10th pluto is in 20 it will be 27 degrees of capricorn okay so pluto has a lot to do with death death of your past life maybe somebody you know passed away maybe you are not the person that you knew before okay maybe the there's death of friendships Maybe there's death in the way that you have been communicating because if you are Scorpio rising, then we know that Pluto is in your third house of communication. And maybe you've been like me stumbling over your words and you are trying to find your words in order to communicate with people. Um, and so this is a time for you to take a step back in your communication, take a deep breath, Take your time communicating and find a new way to communicate with people. Um, and so that is awesome. But remember, we're going to be in its shadow for a while. And that's not even going to occur until 9.09 p.m. that night. Okay. So after that, we now have Mercury direct, uh, Venus direct. Then we're going to have... Pluto uh, direct. We have uh, Mars going into Scorpio. So if you were born, um, if you're Scorpio rising, you were born with the Mars in Scorpio, you're going to have to take a breath. Okay, Libra reminds us to take a breath because Libra is air, though it is a masculine sign. Because the Scorpio within you, with you being born with that Mars and Scorpio, which it does rule Scorpio and Aries, just be mindful because you may fly off the handle. Or somebody may do it to you and you may react. So just be mindful that if that happens, because that did happen to me and I have to take a step back and breathe. Just be mindful of how you are and how people are. And if you're like me and Libra's in your 12th house, go in that 12th house. Be alone. Be by yourself. Even if you're at work. Okay? Um, have that balance between clients and co-workers and you. Okay? You do not have to talk to your co-workers. You can be courteous and say hi, but just sit in your room with a book. Okay, if if you just really feel like you're not peopling, and I know this for me personally, the further we get into fall, the less people I want to be around. Okay, so that is okay. Um, we have we already have the sun in Libra because we had that um that fall equinox. Okay, equal light and equal uh was it equal light and equal night, um equal sunlight and night. So on the fourteenth. We have that partial eclipse. 
Um, I'm still trying to figure out if we will be able to see it. I am not sure. I'm still researching that. Um, so the eclipse is going to be 21 degrees of Libra. So Libra is all about balance, okay? I know two Libras. One's actually coming to work uh, where I'm at. And if she is not balanced, all hell literally does break loose. And with me having three planets in Libra, if you have any planets in Libra, if you're a ascendant in Libra, moon in Libra, if you have a stellium in Libra, meaning you have more than three planets in Libra, or if you're a Libra sun, this is for you. Okay. Or if, let me see, Libra would be the, what house would that be? Virgo is six, Scorpio is seven. So Libra would be the, no, I'm sorry. Libra would be the seventh house. So if you have planets in the seventh house, this is also for you. So Libra is all about relationship all about balance, all about being courteous, okay? Libra keeps the peace. Libra is also about justice. Libra doesn't have a problem speaking up about something, but Libra is also extremely sensitive, okay? Libras can feel things. Not as sensitive maybe as Pisces, but sensitive. And so most Libras that I know have to be alone to rejuvenate, which I can relate to, okay? And when they cannot be alone or if they have a high anxiety, which a lot of Libras do, okay? And they're also very people-pleasing. So if they're high on that and um, they uh, just cannot break away from that, then there is an issue, Okay, um, so sorry guys, I don't know why it did that. Um, so just be aware of that also. Um, great time to do yoga, great time to do um, any kind of movement just to keep yourself grounded, keep yourself centered. Because even though it's a partial eclipse, remember there can be sudden endings and beginnings or just beginnings, okay? So just be still, breathe, go for a walk, okay? Do what you have to do to stay centered, all right? And with that, um, please like and subscribe if this speaks to you and share, and we will